Want to build content like this? Well, you can do it all just in Canva, and I'm going to show you how to do it. In the Build It Like series, I'm going to show you prominent social media posts from some of the biggest creators in the world, including Gary Vee, Alex Hermosi, and Ed Milet. I'm going to go beyond just big business people, too. I'll go into every industry, every style, and I'm going to show you how to do it all in just Canva. On today's episode, I'm going to cover how to build three different types of content that Ed Milet uses regularly. The first one is a very simple text and image style with his logo. It's got a nice gradient background to it. It looks really simple and it is when you know what you're doing. The second one actually isn't a piece of content, but it's a cover for one of his reels. Now, Ed Milet does a wonderful podcast that I've loved for the last couple of years. He puts clips from each of his podcasts as one, a promotion piece, and two, to grow his social media following on his social media channels like Instagram. And then the final one is a nice cutout image of him with no background, with a white outline, and then simple text. Again, very simple, as long as you know what you're doing. And that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. So let's get started. We're gonna start with this simple text one. We're gonna go open a new portrait. So if you search Instagram port, we're gonna choose the Instagram post portrait mode, which is a 1080 by 1350 pixel size. And then from here, we're just gonna start adding some photos. So that particular photo that he had, he's sitting on the rocks by the beach, looking off into the sunset. So let's see if we can find one that's kind of similar to that. Now, obviously you can take your own photos and I do definitely recommend that if you're trying to build a personal brand. So I went with this photo. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a gradient to this. Now there's a lot of different options in terms of gradients. It looks like this is a white gradient. So I'm gonna go something really, really basic here. There's, there's two different options that you can go with this. The first is to go into elements and add a gradient, kind of like this, and then reformat to where the sizing is different. And you can take it from the side and then spread it from there. So this is one way to do it. The other way to do it is you can actually make the photo a tiny bit transparent, and then you can change the background color to be a gradient background. The trouble with this one is that the white isn't isn't going to be quite as strong unless you really start drowning out the photo itself. So if you like this style a little bit more, that's one way to go with it. But we're going to stick with having just a standard gradient on here. Now, I want that gradient to start popping out a little bit more, be, be a little stronger on that left side there. So I'm going to change how this lays out. You've got the gradient foreground over top of it. So now I'm going to start adding in the words. So he's got this on a light blue background and a couple of the words have a dark blue background around them. Now this is what's called a perfect width. Okay, so now you can start adding your text in. I am always a proponent of making these as unique to you as you can. Now, because this is a tutorial and you know isn't a post for my own social media, I'm just gonna copy exactly what he's doing just so you can see exactly how to do it. He's got some strong wording on here, some strong text. Now, when you make everything the same width like this, it's called a perfect width text combination. What you can do now is actually position everything to be nice and tidy. That way it's got some nice spacing on it. And then I can take this particular square and make it the size of one line. Because as you can see his design, he's got two, two lines that are emphasized with this blue background. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop this back, change this to white, and I'm gonna go in and, and this is a perfect example of where the position tool comes in. So, so now I can go into layers and use this tool So we've got a pretty good shell going so far. So you could even up this a little bit if you wanted to and go with a different gradient background. This is a pretty good one because you've got the really strong white on the, on the left-hand side and then it kind of tapers as you go. And then he's got his logo. Now I don't have his logo. I don't want to put his logo on here. So I'm just going to look up logo and see what I can find. That's pretty cool. So I can throw that in there. That way you've got a little bit of branding on the post. If you've got your logo or something, go into your brand kit and you can pop that in there. Once you got that in there and then you can, you know, add your tag in there if you want as well. So there you have it. There's, there's our version. There's Ed's version. You can make it a little bit bigger. You can change 
Obviously the text is probably a little bit different than this. This is a pretty basic text. His looks something maybe closer to a Norwester maybe. Let's try it and see if we can see if we can see it. Yeah, that's probably exactly what it is, is Norwester. But then you can you can change it and manipulate it however you want. And and that's actually a pretty good font font there if you wanted to try that. But there's there's I mean thousands of different options. You can use something that's more closely related to your brand. But there's our there's our version versus Ed's. This is this is an easy way that you can add this into your into your stream into your account and and get some cool stylization in terms of what some of the bigger creators are doing. So let's look at the next one. So the next one I'm going to do I'm going to skip the real cover and do that one last. The next one I'm going to do is this very simple black background. It's got a photo of him pointing at somebody in the crowd and a quote off to the side. We're going to go ahead and build this one in a portrait. So background, we're gonna do black. Let's see if I can make this the background. So with you, obviously you wanna use a headshot for yourself, but for the purpose of what I'm doing, I am actually going to just use a photo directly out of the Canva library. What you're gonna do is you're gonna upload that photo. You're gonna hit the background remover tool. What that's gonna do is cut out your image. This one's a good one because he's gonna be pointing at the text here. And then from here, you can actually edit the photo go down to shadows and then you can create uh, either a glow if you want it to glow or you can create a specific outline obviously you want to change the outline color to be a little different than what your background is since we're working with a black background I'm going to put a white outline around the subject and then from here you can change the sizing how much blur there is the angle of which it pops out how far, like the distance, you can change pretty much everything that you want here on it. You can even change the transparency or it's called the intensity in this tool to either make it stand out even more or a little less. This is also a great tool to use if you're if you're building out YouTube thumbnails. You can create some images, take, maybe take some images of yourself and put them up on your on your YouTube thumbnail to make yourself stand out on that. But for now, we've got we've got this nice yellow character here and a, a good outline. So we've got a pretty good pretty good bulk of what we've got already, and then a nice black background. Again, this one's super simple. And then we're gonna add some text in there. We're gonna stick with the nor Norwester font that we used in the last one. And it says success is inside. It comes from you is inside. And because either, these are two different colors, I'm gonna do this a little differently. It comes from you. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this. This version, I included the quotes. It looks like his quotes are a little bit different in terms of sizing. So I'm going to go back and I'll make a second version of this to show you that as well. But just for the purpose of making things simple and quick, I'm going to go ahead and just create it like this. Okay, I'm going to change the line spacing on these and adjust the position. And then obviously you can pump that up so it's more legible when you post it on your social media channels. Now, obviously you can add more to this. Like the last one, you can add, you know, your logo, your tag. If you wanted to add more to it, you can. Obviously Ed's, Ed Milet has a huge following and a fairly recognizable face to the people that understand who he is. So he might not need his tag. You can add your little tag down there if you wanted to. So this is a good opportunity to continue to boost your brand maybe. Can stick this down here in the bottom and then change the change the coloration and then from there it's pretty much just stylistic now this is one way to do it i i tend to like being able to put in some different quotes quotation styles so i'll go back into my elements and there's a lot of different styles that you can choose from if you wanted more of a container to put these in you could do that you could do something like this or you've got a specific container and then layer it to where it's behind your photo. Let's say I wanted it in this blue, maybe a little more transparent. And then you can make sure that it's behind your photo. That way you're not cutting anything off. Bingo. So then you've got something like that. You could uh, just do quotations as well. I like something that's maybe a little bit more blocky. So these are really nice. And there's some different stylistic things that you can do with these as well. Again, you can change the color, you can change the 
Um, you can change the background. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this yellow just because I think it stands out a little bit better. But then you'll just flip it over and take it to the other side. Make sure you've got it behind. Change the color so that it offsets. And that's a pretty nice piece. You know, obviously I've got my little camera in the way here, but that, that's a nice looking piece. Um, is it obviously a tiny bit different than what his had set up? Now this third one, a, a real cover, comes from a story setup because when you're looking at reels, you want them to be able to see the full thing. And and when it's when you're looking at somebody's profile at reels, it's set up like stories. So you want to start with a 1080 by 1920 format, or if you just choose Instagram story, that works too. Now, the image that you can see does not have the full piece, right? So we're going to do this a couple different ways. I'm going to take two different headshots. We're going to we're going to start with the headshots. So in this in this particular one he he interviewed the owner the owner of the Celtics, the Boston Celtics. So we're going to take basketball background photos. We'll do that one. That one's a pretty cool one. Obviously, he's got a specific one in the background there, but we're going to drown this one out. Make it the background and drown it out. I'm going to edit it to have a little bit of a blur to it. Take down the sharpness, take down the clarity. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to edit it to have a little bit of a blur to it. Now there is a blur tool in the effects. So when you go to edit photo, scroll down under effects and there is a blur option. Now you can do it to the whole image or just a portion of the image. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the whole thing. Okay, and then go back. Now you can see we've got a nice blurred image here. Once you've got the background in there, what you can do then, I, I typically work back to front, right? So I'm gonna take a headshot. Now, again, I'm not gonna use these guys as headshots because it's already been done. I'm gonna use a couple of stock photos from Canva itself. Now to get this effect that he's working with, we're gonna do something similar to what we did in the last post, which was take the background out to start with. Okay, now I gotta get another guy in there. Background remover again to get the same effect. Now they don't need to be quite that big. You can almost drop them back a little bit, but having the effect to where you can see them both side by side is what you want. Now, you can see in his photo that he's got a shadow on both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and add that as well. So you're gonna go back into the original, the first photo and we'll go back to shadows like we did in one of the previous ones. And then you wanna drop shadow, okay? That's gonna do exactly that. It's gonna add a little, little shadow in the back there. You can change the sizing of it. You can change the blur, the angle, the distance. So we're gonna we're gonna drop the distance down a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more blur, and the intensity was pretty good where it was at. Okay, so from there, now I can copy that exact same thing to him, to the second subject. He's gonna have that up front. One thing to remember when you're doing an Instagram real cover you want to optimize it for the square obviously it's going to show up with much more of that but you want to optimize it for the square when they're looking at your standard feed so one way to do that is add a rectangle to the piece size it one to one square from one end to the other should be about a 1080 to 1080 square and then from there you want to lock it into the grid line right in the center that's gonna give you the square that's gonna show up when somebody's looking at just your profile from there you can take the ruler and put guides at the top and bottom of that box and then get rid of the box. They're gonna be guides for your design going forward. So from here, we can size them up just a little bit differently here to fit within this box. Obviously this whole thing is gonna show on the real cover, but this box is what's gonna show on your account. That's why we put the guidelines in there. We've got a gradient in front of that to really help the text stand out off of the images, right? So we're gonna add the gradient. We we'll use a gradient and a few of the last tools. I tend to like this one. I do tend to like either one of these. I like this one because it, it is a little bit more prominent, but it's not overpowering. And how to get it down on the on the end of it, obviously you don't want you know their hands to show at the bottom or you know their torso or whatever else you have in their photo. 
you know, if they're wearing shorts, it's, it's like a Zoom call. You don't want their shorts to show up. And then I'm going to take this one, make it pure white. And I want to make sure that these line up. So I'm going to drop this one down one. Okay, so I got no space in between those. Okay, so from here, we just add some simple text and easy graphics. So how to build a championship culture. And I know that the formatting isn't correct just yet. He's got obviously more of a slanted stylization. And then that championship culture has a couple of different options on it. Now he's got a shadow on it and a background. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a way to do both of those at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shadow. It's got a little bit more blur and I'll go back to our Norwester stylization here. Okay, have that centered. He's got this one in white because he does have a background behind it. And then we'll put a simple blue background right behind that. Now this style of text design is a great way to highlight portions of your title. Now obviously when I went with the dark background, I do like a little bit of corner rounding just to make things a little softer. When I went with the dark background, the shadow obviously went away. So I'm gonna change that shadow to a white one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change that to have a similar setup on all of these. You can see that he does have a white background on some of the outer ones. And this is actually a lighter shade of blue. So we're gonna, we're gonna modify it as much as we can to be as close as we can to his. I personally like doing like an off shade rather than just straight black because straight black and straight white are not real colors in real life. You'll often find about a thousand different shades of each one. And then from here, I can switch that up. And this one is obviously a little bit smaller so that it can fit and just stack these a little differently. I'm gonna group these ones. A uh, little shortcut key there. If you've got a couple of elements or an element and a text, you can highlight them and either select group or I did command or control G, depending on what kind of platform, what kind of computer you're using out a little bit so I can see the uh, effect here. And then he's got all of them at just a slight tilt. Now you can select all of them and just tilt all of them at once. But what that does, it no longer aligns them to the center of the page. If you want to go that route, you certainly can. You just have to select each one and make sure that it's then centered to the page. Or you can obviously tilt each one of them individually to a certain degree. And then finally, he's just got the tags and a little verified tag at the top there. And then we'll do a little verified tag, that one. Now this is a pro pro option. So if you're looking for a non-pro option, there are, there's this one right here that, that is a non-pro. That's a, that's an easy way to make a, a nice real cover for something along those lines, maybe a, a, a podcast promotion or short video, but it's an easy way to, to get your name out there a little bit as well. And looking at it again, you, you can see that he's got more of a highlight here. So we're going to go change, change this effect a little bit. A couple different ones you can go with. You could do an outline to really make it stand out. He's got more of a glow to it. So couple ways that you can do that you can change it into a neon and and either keep the white or if you do like the black then i would suggest changing the text color to white and then you can duplicate it change the text color to black and then turn off the turn off the format or the effect obviously these two are not aligned so what i'll do is go to position put them both in the middle and now group them and then i can do the same thing over here So there you go. Pretty simple formatting. A lot of you know, little intricacies to be able to build this out, but pretty, pretty simple posts that his team has likely put together for him, or maybe he did it, and that make his content and his, and his reels on his profile really stand out. So yeah, hopefully you guys took something great from this. Maybe just a couple of quick tips or tricks in creating these posts, or maybe now you can go build your own posts just like this or your real covers. If you've liked this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel or follow my podcasts on Apple or Spotify. I post tutorials, tips, tricks, and you know, fun keynotes about 
Canva and designing as well to help you level up your content and level up your skills in Canva. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining me today on the Canva Code. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, follow me on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, and stay tuned for more insights on how to use design and Canva to thrive. Thank you for listening, and remember, you Canva do it.